This is a very rare and very unusual and extremely interesting case. This is a case of a 44 year old male patient known epileptic with ruptured dermoid cyst of the brain. He presented with increased uh, frequency of uh, absence seizures and further evaluation was, uh, was performed to rule out any intracranial bleed or some infection or other complication. So uh, this uh, uh, case was assigned to me and uh, here are the findings. It's really very interesting. And uh, please stay until the end of this video because I will uh, tell you and I will give you some very uh, useful and interesting information regarding uh, these uh, types of uh, tumors. First of all, as you can see, there is uh, fat content. This uh, lesion is a uh, confirmed dermoid cyst with fat content, part of the lesion is uh, partially calcified, there are some peripheral calcifications in some regions here. It is a benign lesion anyway. And let's scroll the images to see it from up to down. This is really very interesting, very rare case. Once in a lifetime you can see something like that in your career. Okay, so probably all these uh, peripheral uh, fat tissue lobules represent some uh, fat uh, lipoid droplets after the rupture of the dermoid cyst. And the central part is the main core of the tumor. I will show you the MRI scan after a while, but before that let's have a look in a coronal and sagittal view of this interesting case. This is the sagittal view, so we can have a look it's quite extensive in the right frontal lobe. And in coronal view, so here it is the lesion. And now let's have a look in a brain MRI. This is the T1 sequence and as we can see uh, the signal intensity is uh, bright as it is uh, expected because of the fat tissue of the lesion. So this is a T1 sequence. This is a T uh, to dark fluid. As we can see, the lipoid tissue has uh, suppressed, it's a fat uh, suppressed uh, sequence. And uh, there is mild uh, peripheral perilesional gliosis. So this is the T2 dark fluid sequence. T2 turbostinaco has uh, some artifacts, but however, we can see that uh, part of the lesion shows high signal intensity, lobulation, smooth contour, no aggressive features. This is the diffusion sequence. 
namely low signal intensity restriction and uh, this is the SWI or HEMO sequence this uh, sequence is uh, sensitive to detect uh, hemorrhage but uh, as you can see not only blood is dark in this sequence okay and uh, I will discuss it uh, in a separate video to give some explanations regarding these uh, characteristics so this is the HEMO or SWI sequence the sequence to detect hemorrhage so as you can see the fat shows suppression and finally this is a, a sagittal T1 sequence post contrast post gadolinium so you can see again the lobulated appearance of the lesion multiloculated lobulated uh, no evidence of any significant peripheral enhancement and of course the fat tissue remains uh, of high intensity signal intensity back again to the CT scan to have a last look okay dear friends this uh, this was a very interesting case intracranial brain dermoid cyst actually a ruptured dermoid cyst Dear friends, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, you can consider to subscribe to my channel so you will get uh, notified uh, every time I upload a new video. Thank you and see you soon.